Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I just want to share the Club Spellbinders Club Kits for June 2022. This is what I got. I don't get all of the Club Kits, but this is what I'll be crafting with this month. So on the top here, we have the embossing folder of the month. This is eight and a half by five and a half and really, really gorgeous pattern. So that's a fun one. Then I have the small die of the month. So this one's going to be really interesting because it's a lot of different patterns. Uh, one, two, three, four to be exact. And it does look like it'll cut out the entire uh, border strip, I, I guess you could call it. And along with each border strip, there is a um, sort of an outside cutting edge to go along with it. So this one actually has two. You've got the outside cutting edge for um, this end and that end. And these three um, have, well, these two in the middle here, they only have the one side that has the um, border strip. This one, it only has one border strip, but it's uh, mirrored on the other side. So you can actually use the same border strip to cut out the other side if you want. And it'll be kind of interesting to craft with these because I looked at them compared to a USA two size card and they are just, just about as wide as um, the four and a quarter width. Um, a, some of them are a little bit wider than that. So, so they're meant to, I suppose, well, at least ideally, uh, be used kind of along that edge. Would have been nice if they were longer and span the five and a half. Uh, this, that's just me being greedy. It is, after all, the small die of the month. But um, because if it's if it's longer, it's easier to kind of trim that down to four and a quarter, and then you can use it um, both orientations. But I think this one will be fun to work with because you have that gorgeous sort of decorative border die cut, but then you can also sort of cut um, your card so that you have a shaped edge or um, that sort of uh, border edge to it. And then some of these are just scalloped. So that's just a nice scallop edge, sort of a, a little bit of a different scallop, but kind of a scalloped edge there. So you could use that by itself too. Um, on its own. You don't even have to use it with the um, decorative border strip. So that's the small die of the month. Then we have the clear stamp and die of the month. So with this, it looks like um, we get a few different um, paisley patterns, which are really nice. And we, you have the coordinating die, it looks, um, to cut that out. Then there's this, I, I guess it's sort of like a mandala design. Um, but it looks like, uh, yeah, so, it, so this is a repeat of a portion of the center and then this is a repeat of a portion of that center. So I'm wondering, it might be interesting to kind of decoupage these and layer them up. And so you get one, two, three. So yeah, one, two, three. Yeah. So you get the three coordinating dies to cut out each of those layers if they are meant to be layered. Then it looks like we have two sentiment dies. So the sentiments are hello, and that has a die. Um, beyond grateful, sending happy thoughts your way. Hope this card finds you well. Oh, those are really nice. Um, that die looks like it'll cut sending happy thoughts your way. And I think we don't have dies to cut out Beyond Grateful and hope this card finds you well because they're block letters. So this is kind of easy enough to do just square square cuts or, you know, use a rectangle shaped die if you want or any of the sort of banner dies um, that so often come with like glimmer sentiment um, sets. So there's that. And then we have the large die of the month, which is... Um, a lot of more kind of paisley patterns, but in die cut form. And I did check. So here's uh, the cool thing. So this die does coordinate, uh, it looks, with the stamp. 
So you're going to, if you get both of these and you get, um, let's say you only get the stamp of the month, then, uh, and you get the large die of the month, then it looks like, I haven't done it, but it looks like this matches up and will die cut. And if you get the clear stamp and the coordinating dies that go with the clear stamp, and you want to die cut a bunch of these stamped images, having a second die is going to speed up <laughs> your die cutting quite a bit. So it's really nice that they've thought ahead to, to really match these up. The other thing that I thought was kind of cool when I saw this was that um, the die set looks like it has essentially uh, four different... Um, border options, I guess, because there are these three, well, let's start there. So there's actually three different um, Paisley designs that cut into your card. So they don't have a border cut. Um, there's no outside cutting edge. So three different options there. And then those three options can fit within four different border outline dies. So we've got the plain one, We've got this large ornate one. They'll all they're all the same size, so they'll all fit in um, each of these outline options. Then we have this option as a decorative um, outline, and then we have this option as another decorative outline. And since the um, the plain cutting edge matches the stamped Paisley designs. That means that each of these four outlines um, can probably fit the stamped image as well. So you've got a lot of different options for how to build up your Paisley patterns because with each of these die cuts, you have the option of three different die cut designs that you can cut in. Um, and you can even cut them into the same paper or cut them out of a different paper and use this outline to um, to layer stack on top. Um, so you've got that option or you can cut the design into this, cut a piece of solid um, color card stack and, and put this behind so that a different color shows through. So lots of options there. That's just with the dies, but if you have the stamp set also, then you can stamp the Paisley design into each of these four um, uh, outline die cut options. So pretty darn, pretty darn cool there to have these coordinate um, so well like that. And then we have a word die. This is hello um, and sort of a brush lettering style. And then we've got some other, um, flourishes and sort of, um, you know, kind of edging and you can even use this as a sentiment die cut. And then lots of little, little, uh, flowers and, um, floral embellishments that you can add to this too and extend the pattern and and design or kind of layer them up because a lot of these look to be really similar to some of these uh, floral kind of flourishes. So, so that's pretty cool. Large die set there. So that's uh, the large die of the month. And I think it goes really, really well with the clear stamp and die of the month this month. And then this one, really cool. So this is the APG die of the month and it's this huge car. So you can see it's wider than um, the four and a quarter. So if you're gonna put this on a USA two size card front, then you'll wanna go landscape with the design. And we've got um, the car bumper, sort of the grill. Um, so I think this could be either the front or, or the back. You can do um, the seats here, lots of little detailing for the lights and whatnot. Oh, some of this has shifted around. And then we've got, and I'm, I'm kind of curious to see, because this is a little bit reminiscent of um, Sunday Drive, especially there's a, uh, there's one that is also wedding themed for Sunday Drive. So I'm kind of curious to see if the people are the same scale so that you can um, mix and match. Because it looks like 
It looks like they, they might be, but I haven't done the comparison just yet. So we've got on the um, back of my sheet here, we have, uh, let's see, the, I think this is a spare tire that you could put kind of on the back. This is uh, the front windshield um, with the side mirrors. We've got, um, if as in true kind of APG style form, um, you can make this dimensional. So you can do this as one of those um, kind of pop-up box style cards if you want and have different different scenes. So you could do, you know, the front of the car, um, the back of the car, and then maybe the front seat and the back seat, and then have different people sitting in each of those um, seats. That would be really fun. Then we've got... Um, uh, sort of a, a male form or at least somebody with short hair and then somebody with long hair and we have some sentiments that are um, I think are your license plate for the back of the car so we have just married road trip and enjoy the ride so it doesn't have to necessarily be uh, wedding theme although I think this is sort of the uh, wedding veil and of course we do get the just married but um, that's going to be a really fun one to craft with. So many, so many dies. And of course, I love APG Die of the Month because there's always so much, so much detail. And, um, and, uh, you can really explore different options for, um, putting it together. So that, uh, these are the June. Uh, club kits that I got and when I craft with um, these products, I'll be sure to link to that video at the end of this one. Generally, I have two, maybe sometimes three or four videos where I feature um, different club kits and so um, I'll try to, as I release them, link to um, you know the the next newest one but of course you can always find all of my spellbinders videos in my spellbinders playlist which i'll also link to at the end of this video thanks so much for joining me for this unboxing and until next time happy crafting and have a fantastic day bye